Yo, so I don't know who saw this one coming because I didn't. We've got the Tekken 8 story so far with Brian Cox, who is an actor, and I'm sure he's going to be narrating the story so far. So it's quite interesting because I recently did a video going through the Tekken games of uh, my um, son and that, and we we're just exploring the characters and their endings. And now we're going to get a um, a story so far with uh, Brian Cox. So yeah, another another actor of uh, of renown. Um, so yeah. This is gonna be it's quite interesting. I'm really I'm actually quite looking forward to watching this. Let's give it a go. How loud is it? Every single fight, no matter how big or small, has a story behind it. <laughs> That's why when it comes to Tekken oh. and the King of Iron Fist tournament. <laughs> what does he even do? This is great. There's one hell of a story to tell. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know why I got me excited him saying that for some reason. In Tekken 8, Jin Kazama will face off against his father, Ooh. Kazuya Mishima, this for the new? last time. Kazuya is threatening global domination. And since Jin is the only other person who possesses the devil gene as well, he may be the only chance the world has left. But how did we even get to this point? And what the hell is a devil gene? <laughs> and why do these fathers and sons keep throwing each other off cliffs? This is great! This is great! Well, it revolves around these three men. Heihachi Mishima, his son Kazuya Mishima, and his son Jin Kazama. Oh, wait. When Kazuya was just five years old, his father, Heihachi, feared the boy possessed the devil gene, which is passed down through generations to the bearer's children. It allows the host to transform into a winged demon that possesses incredible strength and power. So, Heihachi did what any loving father would do. Threw Kazuya off this cliff to see if he would survive. <laughs> yeah, just, you just do it, you just do it. This is great, this is great. And survive, he did. <laughs> Kazuya would spend the next 21 years training to become a deadly fighter. The hatred he harbored for his father fueling his motivation. Yeah. Ultimately, Kazuya would defeat Heihachi and become the first king of Iron First tournament champion. Hey. And then, in a moment of poetic justice, would throw his father off a cliff. <laughs> yes, let's go. Years later, we find Kazuya has turned even more sinister than his father was. Nice. But it brings us to the one woman who saw the potential good in Kazuya. Oh. Animal rights activist June Kazama. June Kazama, there she is. Together, they would have a child. The third piece of this patricidal puzzle. Mm. Jin Kazama. Jin so grew cool. up without knowing his father. And after tragedy suddenly befell his mother, Jim sought out his grandfather and would be trained in the Mishima fighting ways by none other than Heihachi Mishima. Oh, you, can make, you can make a Ever film on this shit. And knowing Jin possessed the devil gene, Heihachi would use Jin until ultimately betraying his grandson, shooting him at point blank range in the face. They mention Ogre, though. Death was not for Jin, and what would kill any other man would trigger what had laid dormant in Jin until that moment. And Devil Jin was born. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Since then, these three men have waged war against each other time and time again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is until the most recent tournament where Kazuya faced off against his father, Heihachi, for the final time by taking his life and throwing the body into a volcano, like only a Mishima can. That's it, go get rid of them. Go get rid of the evidence. Which oh. brings us to now. Kazuya's complete global control is almost at hand, and his power is seemingly unchecked. However, now fully healed from his own battles, 
Jin has resurfaced and is focused on stopping his father to become not just the newest champion of the King of Iron Fist tournament, but possibly the savior of all mankind too. Oh God, he left out oh, like a king. Look at this lot go, look at this lot, look. You little shit. This is new, this is new cutscene. Oh, in Tekken 8. Oh, done a Kazama. Is that what he's doing? The Kazama style, like sort of like a, sort of like a the the, the sort of the chi, so he can sort of like deflect him. Yo, okay, ah, oh, okay. What did he say there as well? Like, I missed that part. Ah, oh, damn, damn. Okay, oh, the bright. Oh, mate, bright light, bright light. Let me just go back quickly. Here, Kazuya's complete global control is almost at hand. And his power what is seemingly really, unchecked. It's when he, he did. That's definitely the ending, obviously. However, now he's using that sort of he's using battles, that Kazama, Kazama style. He must learn it or something. And is focused on stopping that's crazy. his father that's crazy. to become not just the newest like champion a, oh, of no, no, the kind of, King of Iron Fist I'll tournament. Say, I'll say one thing: possibly the savior of when we all get there. mankind too. Look at this, this wall. Oh, mate. I suppose he unites all the fires. A little shit that boom, that boom. Nothing on Redfield. Or is this, is this something in the bottom? Power isn't everything. Yeah, look, here we go, look. So then he goes into like some sort of Kazama style style. I'm just assuming that's Kazama. But it's like sort of like a Tai Chi stance. And obviously Kazoo's just gonna throw everything at him, you know, Mishima style. And then he deflects him. Boom. Look at that. Like water, mate. Just like water, just deflects it off. And ah, oh, imagine there was like a DLC in the future of like a Jin with a, that that kind of fighting style. That's kind of mad, isn't it? That's kind of mad. Has he ever done that before, Jin? Has he ever sort of done that sort of training before? He did, didn't it? Maybe I think it was like the Tekken Four, um, um, sort of like the, the cinematic the plays with the music, and he was doing like all the movement and stuff. He was like sort of doing all that sort of the Zen. Yeah, look. Fist just... meets fate. Oh, fist meets fate. Oh my god. Okay, that was really good. I really enjoyed that. That was really good. Oh, that was really good. I think next time Brian Cox does a QA and a and anyone gets a chance to ask him, do you, did you know what Tekken was before you did that? Or was you just approached to, to narrate it? Really done it really well as well. Like every time he delivered a line, it sounded so clean and just... It just, it just, I don't know. It just rolled right off his tongue. It was, it didn't seem. It seemed like he was very knowledgeable, but when he said it, it was just kind of like he had a bit of play with it as well. So I really liked that. That was really good. Nah, no, it's a great video. I'm really glad that came out. That's awesome. That just gets eyes on. You know, Brian Cox is an amazing actor. Um, just Google him. You see the stuff he's done. And um, yeah, so yeah, really pretty to that. Awesome stuff. Excellent.